foodygames.com. Davidson in the freaking title game? Why did I put Davidson in the Dude, title on. game? Hey. Davidson, Iowa hey. State? Psst, psst. Camera's rolling. My bracket. <laughs> Toast. <laughs> Welcome back. Pregame.tv. Steve Fezzik, Teddy Covers on top of it at all times, ultra caffeinated. Let's go to Los Angeles. We have Arizona Wildcats who's going to win it all against the X-Men, the Xavier Musketeers. Happy to be there. Teddy, what do you think? Well, Arizona, about 11-point chalk right now. Ten and a half? Ten and a half? You can find ten and a half. Ten and a half, yeah. There are, there are plenty of ten and a halfs out there. I don't think they will be there on game day, but the early money's come on Xavier. I don't know why. Shocking to me. I don't know why. There's, I mean, there continues to be a level of disrespect for the Pac-12 in the betting markets. There really does. And there also continues to be a level of disrespect in particular towards Arizona, who has been a top-five team all year. They have uh, certainly no shortage of NBA talent on that roster. They have a senior point guard. They have the best head coach never to have been to a Final Four in Sean Miller. There are a lot of things to like about the Wildcats, including the venue. Yeah, the venue in Los Angeles. We talked about that before. So in the heart of um, the conference um, country right there, and you got to feel how many folks – from Xavier, went down to Jacksonville, had a good old time, came back home, like I said, burned some furniture, celebrated making the Sweet 16, and now are going to go all the way out to Los Angeles. 50? Mm, I'll take, that's probably a decent number. I, I, I wanted to take the under, but you gave me a really low number. I'm not going to count the cheerleaders <laughs> and the mascot. And, and by the way, I, must, I might add, if this was a contest between the Arizona cheerleaders mm. and the Xavier cheerleaders, I would lay 18 without blink. <laughs> and so... Then we have to lay 10 and a half now. They're just laying over them completely here. Um, so we, we, you know, that's a mystery to me, too. It's like you mentioned, that the Pac-12 just keeps kicking butt. And, and at the betting markets, they keep betting against these teams. Like, like Oklahoma State, they bet them against Oregon. Mm -hmm. um, they, then Oregon plays Wisconsin, and they bet that up to 13, 12 and a half, even 13 in some spots. No respect there. No, and there hasn't been. But let's talk about Xavier. And because, I mean, we, I, we clearly have a bet on element for Arizona. Yes. There needs to be an equal, or not maybe not an equal, but some semblance of a bet against for Xavier. And in my opinion, that bet against comes, I mean, I'm a big Chris Mack fan. I love their head coach. And I like their senior point guard, D. Davis. I like him a lot. The guy who is weak for Xavier, who's one of their key players, Matt Stainbrook, their big low post behemoth, a guy who has been able to dominate the boards at a lower level, a guy who's been able to hit a lot of shots around the basket at a lower level. When Stainbrook steps up in class against Arizona's front line, he is going to be outclassed. And this is the type of game that Xavier is really going to struggle to get any rebounds. I don't know how they win. You know, they'll, they'll get some rebounds, obviously. But in terms of the battle of the boards, you can count on Arizona winning the battle of the boards by a significant margin and therefore, A, having more second chance opportunities and B, holding Xavier to a single shot attempt on the vast majority of their possessions. Arizona's going to have more possessions. That certainly gives them a better chance to cover this number. I was on Xavier um, in their win against Georgia Southern, and sometimes you win a bet on a team, mm -hmm. and you say to yourself, that's it. <laughs> I, I got away with this one. Yeah. Now it's time to dump this baby. And I, 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 Xavier shot out of their mind. Dude, they shot 68% from the floor, okay? They allowed. Georgia State had 11 rebounds in that game. Yeah, they got all the rebounds. When you shoot 68% from the floor and get every rebound. And you cover by one point? Exactly. Against a, against a team that was a dead nuts bet against, as we talked about in an earlier video, that may speak volumes. It's time to it. drop this team like a bad habit. Let's make it official. You want let's, to? Let's absolutely make this official. And this is one. Last week, we tried individual free plays. Mine got killed. Yours wasn't any good. This week, let's do it together. Let's bet triple this time. All right. You want to hold hands while we say it? I'm not that. holding your hand. Arizona minus, what are we calling it? Ten and a half or a It's ten and a half. It's ten and a half right now. Arizona minus ten and a half. That's a good number. I don't think it'll be there by tip off. If you're going to get involved, do it sooner, not later. Right here, pregame.tv. Teddy and Fezzik's official play, Take the Wildcats. And expect 
a comfortable double-digit victory. And I like this one because Teddy, of course, put his play into the wrong camera, which has been historically very lucky. Oh, my God, I was supposed to do that camera. Very good. Ay, 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 People ay, I'm ay. working with here, folks. It's oh, no wonder we landed on Davidson <laughs> last week. God! Focus. Um, by the way, at pregame.com, I do a... We have been doing a feature, do it in the NFL every week, where I predict line moves. Went 31 and 8 on predicted line moves. 5 and 0 oh last week in the opening round predicted line moves. This was the game. It was 10, it was 11. Right as I posted it, I said, I think they're going to bet this minus 11 up. It goes down to 10 and a half. I edited it in. Well, now it's 10 and a half, and now I really think this line's going to go up higher. If you like this play, which Teddy does and I do as well, I would lay it right now, play it and lay it, minus the 10 and a half. I can't see this getting any cheaper, especially with Thursday night, late night game, especially here in Vegas. I think you wander into your local station, your local coast, somewhere around there, you're going to see 12s on this game. Let's lay that 10 and a half, and let's watch the X-Men get destroyed by the second best team in college basketball. It's our second best. Agree? Hmm. Well, was that, is that the end? That's the end. You, huh? you, uh, Are we off? Are we on? Still, I don't know no, what's going on. on. We're still on, Mr. Covers. The, well, let's uh, end it. Thank you. We'll be back in just a minute with NBA Down the Stretch. I didn't realize you were throwing it back to me. I was. We were already way it's over. It's fine. It's cool. Huh? It's all good. It's all uh, good. And especially for Get one that camera. I know.